All right, uh, this is a Doosan G25N-7. It's got the K25 series engine in it. And we have a check engine light and it's in limp mode. All right, um, so just gonna scroll through and see what codes we have. So we got engine over engine over temp, engine over heat step one. All right. So I verified thermostat operation. There is coolant in it. Uh, the air pockets have been bled out of it. So this engine is ice cold. All right. So what I'm gonna do is gonna back out, and I'm gonna go to my data display. And I'm going to look right here where it says coolant temp 200 degrees Celsius. That is a little bit over 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Like I said, this engine is ice cold. All right. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to attack this coolant temp sensor and coolant temp sensor circuit. So I'm going to unplug the sensor and what should happen is that 200 degrees Celsius should go to a default value. All right, so I got the center unplugged and you see it went from 200 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius. All right, 40 degrees Celsius is about 103 degrees. That is, these, that is this particular uh, ECM's substituted value uh, for an open circuit. I'm just gonna plug it back in and you see we got 200 degrees Celsius again. Unplugged, 40 degrees Celsius. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make sure I have my five volts, which is my, my reference and signal, as well as the ground. Okay, so I just got my meter in parallel with the circuit and I'm bringing 4.77 volts all right um, it's a little below five uh, I'm not too worried about that so um, what I do have what you could do in this situation is you could jump the two terminals together and look for a change on your scan tool just as a warning sometimes that doesn't always work um, so you can, uh, what you could use too is a potentiometer and put it in there and adjust the resistance and look for changes on your scan tool. All right. But I have something a little bit better. I have a coolant temp sensor. I, I don't have my electrical kit with me. So this is a known good one. I'm just gonna plug it in and right now outside outside here so when I plug this in this temperature reading should be close to what it is outside all right uh, right now it's probably about you know 45 50 degrees so it should be in that ballpark all right it was in my pocket so the temperature may be a little bit higher but big thing is we're gonna look to make sure that that 40 degrees Celsius changes all right so I got the sensor plugged in and I'm reading 27 degrees Celsius which is uh, maybe closer to 60 degrees all right like I said it's a little warmer it was in my pocket on the drive over here so I'm gonna install this sensor clear this check engine light and this thing should be good to go all right, so this is the old sensor that was in the engine. Uh, these are a negative thermal coefficient type sensor, meaning as temperature goes up, the resistance of the, I'm sorry, the internal resistance of the sensor will go down. So the only way that this would, should have really low resistance is if this is really hot. And as you can see right now, I'm touching it, I'm holding it with no problem. So the ambient temperature, it's probably about ambient temperature, maybe a little bit cooler because it was uh, in a water outlet. 
so this resistance should be high uh, this particular center the resistance start uh, uh, for I think 60 degrees and maybe around 3,000 ohms so as you can see on my ohm meter I'm reading 11.4 ohms all right and like I said the only way that 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 this would have that resistance is if this sensor was in boiling hot water all right and as you can see you know you know I have tough hands but they're not made of leather all right it's still still skin and so this is a shorted sensor all right all right just to give you a running perspective all right so uh, if you remember it started at about 24 27 degrees Celsius you know give or take that was probably about like 60 degrees um, and right now we're slowly climbing to 75 degrees Celsius uh, which may be you know closer to the 160 170 more all right so this is a this is a fix engine Engine revs up fine, it's no longer in limp mode.